Good morning and welcome back to 2 Thessalonians. Uh, today we're looking at chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. St. Paul writes, They will suffer the punishment of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might, when he comes on that day to be glorified in his saints and to be marveled at among all who have believed because our testimony to you was believed. Now there's no bones about that St. Paul is not shying away from the seriousness of what he's saying. He's talking about the judgment that happens when our Lord Jesus returns. Uh, that's This is a topic that we often shy away from. We don't want to, you know, beat non-believers over the head with, uh, you know, the stick. But there's no getting around the fact that there is a judgment coming and there will be the saved and there will be the damned. Uh, the difference being is that the ones who are saved are the ones who have heard the gospel and believe it. Uh, as it says, when he comes on that day to be glorified in the saints and to be marveled at among all who have believed, you will be saved because the testimony that Paul brought to them, uh, they believed. Uh, this is not something special about St. Paul. You know, It's not like St. Paul has a special talent in his mouth to bring faith. Uh, the testimony that he brought is the testimony, the gospel of our Lord, that Jesus, the Son of God, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the cross and was resurrected. And all of this was done to save uh, God's elect. Uh, so this is why we don't fear when the day comes, because we know that Christ has died for us. And we believe this testimony that was brought to us by St. Paul and the apostles and the men who followed them, and our fathers and mothers who taught it to us uh, from our cribs all the way to our, where we are today. So this is why we aren't afraid of the last day, even though it will be terrible, even though judgment is coming, because we know that on account of Christ, we will be declared innocent. And with that, let us pray. Let us pray for the whole Church of God in Christ Jesus, and for all people according to their needs. Heavenly Father, you rescue the daughter of Zion from her enemies, and take away the judgments against her. Look with compassion upon your people wherever they suffer in the for the name of Jesus. Give them wisdom when they are pressured to compromise. Provide when they suffer loss. Give courage when they are afraid, and strengthen them in the midst of persecution until you deliver them. Preserve them always in the hope that for you, that you will restore all that is lost with what cannot be taken away. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through Jesus Christ our Lord.